some questions. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the, the latter part of the second half? I guess the eight-minute mark down to half time. That's when you really kind of put the run together to, because you know they were kind of hanging around and you just kind of put them away at that. Point. Well, you know, they, they make shots. All right, just in terms of putting the ball in the basket. That's one of the better shooting teams we're going to face this year across the board. You know, other teams may have a, you know, this, that, and the other. And, but <clears throat> they put five guys on the floor that really put the ball in the basket. And so you have to guard them. And initially, we were early in the first half. Uh, you know, they got to, they, had, they ended up with six threes at halftime. It felt like 30 to me. Um, uh, you know, we were giving, you give a guy who can shoot an open shot, it's going to go in. And so they do a terrific job, uh, and Franny's teams have for years now, for years now, of just getting an edge, and so you have to help a little bit, and then snapping it to the next guy, and then they make the shot. And so that's what they were doing early on. Once we did a, a slightly better job of protecting the three-point line, um, you know, we were able to open things. Because we were getting what we wanted at the offensive end. We just couldn't, they were getting open looks. And so once once we stopped giving them the open looks, uh, we were able to slowly pull away. Did you talk about Hollis's uh, first half contribution to get three threes kind of open up the game? Yeah, that, that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's, that's Hollis. Uh, he has not, I don't know what, I don't know what our season stats are, but he has not shot well in games yet. But today is who he is. Uh, uh, and, and he can put the ball in the basket. He really can put the ball in the basket. Uh, and he has, you know, he's wiry, but he, have a, he has a toughness about him. You know, he goes in for rebounds. He competes. And so, you know, yes, he gave us a big boost in the first half. Uh, uh, you know, once we got it in, into their zone, they, 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 they switched up their zones back and forth, and then at the end of the day, we just wanted to get it in and get it back out or get it in and throw it down. Um, and he, put, and he, knocked, he knocked a few down. Did you speak about um, the playing of Jason? You know, I can use a lot of adjectives to describe, to describe Jason. Resourceful is one of them. Uh, you know, he's playing at a very high level right now. Uh, and, and the game just comes to him. The game comes easy. He's extremely unselfish. He's making his shots. Uh, you know, you look at today, you know, and let me look at today before I comment, but I'm pretty sure he did a little bit of everything. You know, 19 points, 6 assists. Five rebounds and three steals. Uh, he does. He does things that a basketball player does. Um, I was just talking about how you how you need to rebound more, Jason. <laughs> um, he does things that a basketball player does, and he does a lot of you know. In as much as when 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 you start to talk about players, it's natural just to focus on the things that guys do when the ball is in their hands. All right. Jason does the parts of the game very well when the ball is not in his hands. That help that in turn helps our team and helps his teammates. John, you had six guys in double figures today. Does that does that please you? Does that please you? And does that augur well for um, what's coming up? I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I, I don't go into a game saying you know we need four, five, six guys in double figures. We have a group that is capable of putting, you know, six, seven, eight guys in double figures. Um, as long, and, and, and the way things go, you know, um, as long as we're taking good shots, as long as we're making, you know, the extra pass. There was a stretch there at probably the midway point of the second half, uh, you know, where I thought that we were, I, I, have, I would have a slight edge on my man, so I'd shoot it because I could get it off. Um, as opposed to kicking it to the next guy who's going to be really wide open. Uh, and, once, and this group is slowly getting that feel. I mean, we have a bunch of guys in that locker room that can score points. Who scores the points is irrelevant to this group. This is as long as we're taking the right shots off the right flow. Uh, and it can be fast, it can be slow, as long as it's the right shots. This is kind of the opposite of Rich's questions. Do, do you have any concerns about depth as you look down? down the road in the season? Well, as we get down the road, we will be deeper. Uh, just as guys get experience. I'm not trying to be funny. I mean, that's... You know, uh, you know we, we have you know we have Jarrell Benjamin who's still injured, uh, you know, who's going to add us add some depth up front. You know, we have Henry and Nikita uh, who are in a little bit of a funk right now, but they've, they've, been, through the, they've been through the cycle. They, they are experienced players. Um, you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, 
the freshman class slowly but surely uh, has to continue to gain experience, uh, and that's and that's Jarrell when he when he gets back out there kicking uh, V and Hollis. Um, so is depth a concern? Uh, it's 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 in my head, but I think that as as the year progresses, we will continue to gain depth, and they just need the reps in practice. They need the reps more so in practice and games. Tell you too, they need reps. You know, that being said. The two guys behind me, along with Chris and, and Free, uh, are going to play big minutes. And they know that. And they physically have prepared for that. And mentally. Right? Questions for the players? Ron, you have, I mean, uh, you have one more question for me? Yeah. I thought I could. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think you went 7-0, start the second half, and then they got him out of zone. How good was that from a work perspective to be able to run your, your Princeton Georgetown stuff? Uh, you know, I think that coming into this, we anticipated them playing zone. We haven't seen zone that much this year, or at all. I mean, Tulane did it, I want to say, literally the last three or four possessions of the game. So it's the first time we've seen zone. So coming into it, it was unsure of how we were going to respond. I thought our zone offense looked pretty good, and not just from the standpoint of the shots that went in, but, but just from the, 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 the variance, the different kind. We got the ball in, we got the ball down, we got the ball to Greg in the middle, and he was able to make decisions as to who to throw it to or to go himself. So I liked the way our zone offense looked. I thought in, even in the first half, I thought our zone off. We would have gotten them out of the zone if we got stops at the other end uh, because we were, sc we were scoring points. You know, but we were just trading baskets almost. We weren't getting the stops. And so we came out the first couple of possessions of the second half, <clears throat> and we were able to score and get stops. And so they had to do something different. Um, and then to tell you the truth, that was, I mean, we had fallen into the zone rhythm. It took us a few possessions to get the first couple of possessions of man to man. We were standing around. Uh, you know, we weren't, it wasn't sharp and crisp. Um, but this group, I think, will be able to adjust and adapt at whatever's thrown at us. Julian was a little more comfortable today. Um, I thought he was good. I mean, we're going to need the big fella to be good. Um, you know, I thought he was a presence out there. And so, you know, once again, when you start talking about players, it's natural to start just looking at points. Or, but he was a presence. So you, you felt him out there at the defensive end. You felt him out there. You know, I thought he had more rebounds than they ended up giving him credit for. It felt like he had more. What are his numbers? Can you all help me out here? I can't read. Five, you know, it felt like a lot more than that. And even the few that he didn't get, he kind of kept the ball alive a couple times and someone else was able to run it down. And so, you know, Julian, uh, much like Jason, much like Greg, uh, uh, Nikita, and, you know, they're, they've, this is the second year. And so he's settling in, and you're going to see big, big improvements, you know, over from freshman year. And, you know, obviously he's not a freshman, but it was his first year playing last year with us. From Henry, same, you're going to see from freshman to sophomore year.